Good afternoon, everybody. I have a very brief video about the professional development option that I mentioned in yesterday's video, and I will try to be very short. I think this is something that I covered very briefly at our first optional Zoom meeting that we had way back in September, but um, I will just quickly cover it here so you understand the context of what I mentioned in yesterday's video. Okay. So here it is. It's due on December 8th. It's called the Professional Development Option. Really, it's, it's an assignment, but it's, you'll see what I mean by the option. Um, it is due on December 8th. Let me go to the information so you can actually see it where it is located. So if you go to the syllabus, come down in the syllabus, it gets into detail on each one of the um, each one of the assignments. So this is, you'll see why it is called a professional development activity or option. So there's three things that I'm asking uh, everybody to pick from. The first one, and really it is a professional development activity. This is something that you're going to work on on your own. It can be um, targeted for something that you're very interested in, and I'll show you some resources. But the first thing is read a book, read a professional book view the annotated bib, and I'll show you where that is for possible options about selecting a book on teaching facilitation. Um, from the outside of the, you can choose something outside of this particular list if it pertains to facilitation and adult learning or adult education. So just say you're a Parker Palmer person and you want to um, write about the courage to teach, which is one of Parker Palmer's to me, very important books. You could do that, and the final product would be a written book review, 500 to 700 words. This is not meant to be, you know, a huge major assignment. So that's the first option. You read a book, and then you write about it. Second one is you read three peer-reviewed articles related to a topic of your choice and the course content. So I'll circle back to here. Um, this is something on teaching, facilitation, outside of the list. You might go into some details, but this is, you know, a peer-reviewed article that could be in the Journal of Adult Learning, just say. Um, general interest, you can find articles using the library, uh, the Glickman Library, primary source documents, and if anybody has it, primary source or secondary source. It, so for those that have taken EDU 600, in that course, it's all primary sources. This one is just peer-reviewed articles, meaning they can be secondary sources in a peer-reviewed peer journal. Um, summary of the main points, once again, 500 to 700 words. And then the final, final option is you attend some kind of professional development workshop or seminar or webinar during the semester that equals about three hours of your time. So this could be something that you do at USM, something external to USM. You participate in to say um, an AQ exemplary teaching type webinar or something CTEL is putting on. That is really what the third option is, and the final product summary of main points, once again, 500 to 700 words. So you could also do, for those, those that don't want to type five to 700 words, you always could do a video. You could do, I know there's a couple of people in this class like that like videos, so you could do a video, you could do a podcast, or you could just type out 500 to 700 words. So that's what this professional development option as it's called i think in the syllabus but it's really an, an activity it's something that you choose something you write about or you create a video on so let me just stop here for, for a moment i'm going to show you where the annotated bib is you might be saying where is the annotated bibliography that we can choose from and this is prescriptive you can choose your own book but if you come to the assignments you come into the professional development option, assignment submission area. Here's the information. So right here is the annotated bib, and I'll check on that. Oh, I had this already. Where did that go? 
There's the guidelines. Okay, here's the annotated bib. Take a look at each one of these books. Distinguished Teachers, Brockett's book, Brookfield, Brookfield. These are just ideas. These, these, you might have any of these or all of them on your shelf, but these are ideas for you to read as the a book that you would read and then you would write about. And then also attached to the assignment is guidelines for book review. So once again, this is development or this is the option number one, which is really a book review and there's prompting, there's prompts and there's questions. And once again, you do not have to um, follow. I'll, I'll give you some more instructions the closer we get about where to post your book review. I, I may have everybody post or post their either text review or um, probably put it in a, in, in, in a phone or somewhere, but I'll work on that. So um, you will not be submitting these assignments to me like we do in other assignments. I will have you put them in a public place so other people can see them also. So that's it for me. If you have any question on this, this professional development option or assignment coming up, let me know. I hope this short video helps. And if not, feel free to reach out to me. I said it in yesterday's video. Tomorrow I'm leaving my home at 3.30 in the morning and I'll I'll be in Reno. I think it's about eight o'clock at night. So I'll be tied up tomorrow and all day Friday traveling back. But um, shoot me an email if you have any questions. I'm here to help. I hope you have a great week, everybody. Bye.